With the state deadline looming, the city of Del Mar approved a proposal for more affordable housing that includes building on the Del Mar Fairgrounds. That's easier said than done. KPBS's Alexander Wynn has more on what that entails. With a median home price of $2 million plus, Del Mar has an affordable housing issue. Like every other city in the county, and the state has to provide a means for affordable housing to be built. Um, and you do that by changing your zoning. The city needs to zone for 113 affordable housing units to comply with the state's mandate. They submitted the proposal April 9th, a week before the state's April 15th deadline. The plan calls for building 51 affordable housing units on Del Mar Fairgrounds land. The rest of the units include rezoning the downtown district and increasing the number of granny flats. As for the fairground, while it's located within the city's jurisdiction, Del Mar does not own the land. The state does. So we need in principle agreement from the state level that oversees the 22nd Agricultural District all the way to the fairgrounds board and the fairgrounds staff. The 22nd District Agricultural Association oversees the fairgrounds. In February, the board voted against entering into a memorandum of understanding with the city to build on the land. In an email statement to KPBS, board president Richard Valdez says, the board took that action because it felt it was premature to make a binding commitment which would trigger several legal obligations upon the fairgrounds. But Mayor Gastelin says the city council is very committed to this idea and is looking to work with the fairgrounds on a new MOU. Valdez signals that the fairground board is willing to entertain the idea. In the same statement, he says the board has formed an ad hoc committee for the purpose of conducting further discussions with the city of Del Mar regarding the possibility of future affordable housing on the fairgrounds property. The city and the fairgrounds board now have three years to come to an agreement. In Del Mar, Alexander Wynn, KPPS News. If an agreement can't be reached, Del Mar will have to resort to its contingency plan and rezone the city's north and south bluffs for development. City council members and residents have said that's something they don't want. And last year, voters rejected a proposal for a luxury hotel resort on the city's north bluff.